Dick D. Bartolo, Mad Magazine's Maddest Writer, and the Giz with. We're here at Toy Fair, and we're talking about tech gadgets, and we're at the Thames and Cosmos booth. Remember this? We showed this last year or the year before, the gyrobot who can actually walk on string. Well, we thought, let's stop there and see what they have for 2015. And we're talking with Andy, and Andy, what's new with your company? Uh, well, we're coming out with a few different remote control, re remote control engineering kits for uh, children ages 8 plus. Uh, one of the new kits we're coming out with is called Remote Control Machines Animals. The idea is that children will build eight different animals and hopefully we'll teach them how the animals move. Each of these animals moves in a different way. So there's a penguin that, if you watch, will sort of waddle as he walks. Uh, there's a monkey that will walk on a string. Uh, there's a T-Rex that will walk on two legs, there's a crab that will waddle sideways, there's an elephant that walks on four legs, so each of the animals sort of moves in a different way, and we'll teach a little bit about biomimetics and biomechanics. And um, Now, is each animal a different kit, or is the one kit for all eight animals? Uh, it's one kit, all eight animals. You can't build them all at the same time, but you can build one, learn about that animal, do experiments with it, and then build another animal and do experiments with that. That's great. And, and when is that coming out, and what will it retail for? Uh, we're expecting it to release in June of this year, and it will retail for $49.95. That is really neat. Show me one more neat thing uh, that you have. Uh, so one of the hot topics this year is space exploration and space travel and space colonization. Uh, so we're also coming out with a remote control machines engineering kit that deals with space machines. The featured model in this kit is the Mars Curiosity rover, or a look-alike of the Mars Curiosity rover. And uh, you build 10 different models with this kit. It has a 64-page manual. And with each model, you build one of the models, and then you do experiments with that model and learn about the science of what's happening and how you would explore in outer space or an extraterrestrial environment. So you can build like a different type of space, sh a space shuttle, a... Um, well, so then I would just say that... I'm wow, that's neat. It's like a rocket transporter. Th does the rocket fire? It does not fire. Okay. Not okay. yet. Um, and you build 10 different models, all dealing with space. All right. Now, this has to be uh, uh, more expensive than the other kit because it's so complex. Is that correct? Um, yes. It's uh, 99 95 retail. We're also expecting it in June. And this is the remote control for it? Yeah. So this is actually a new remote control we developed. This is just a prototype. Um, but it works on four different frequencies. So. If you had more than one kit, you can control different machines at the same time without interfering with each other. Now, with this kit, can you build more than one model at one time? Yes, you build 10 different models. Oh, not at one time. Not at one time. Oh, no, that's okay. So, okay. Because it only comes with a certain number of motors right. and IR receivers, so you have to disassemble it and then reassemble it. Two neat gadgets from the company again. I, I always want to say Tane. It is that. Thames, right? It's Thames and Cosmos. So it's Thames. Named after the, uh, the U.S. River, the Thames River, which is up in Rhode Island, oh. as opposed to the Thames. I was going to say, it, sa it sounded very English, but now I understand better. Dickie Bartolo, Mads Made Destroyer, to end the Gizwiz One Take Theater here on Twitter.